Hi, my name's Jeremy Brune. Now, I guess we all go by first impressions, that is, judging a book by its cover. And in this case, I was immediately impressed by the cover, or should I say, the carry case, for this cordless drill. And I thought it was a hint of what to expect of the tool itself. McAllister is a B&Q brand. Fortunately, there was an already open box, so I took a quick look inside. The carry case is beautifully crafted, almost like a suitcase you could take to the Hilton, with this zip compartment for the manual. And instead of having to flick through sections of Spanish, German and Swahili, I discovered to my surprise that the manual's entirely in English. Now that made me feel really special, as though the tool had my name on it, well, even though I'm a Scotsman. Now, my other first impression was the tiny size of the 10.8 volt battery, which made me laugh when I looked at the circular saw on display. Uh, that's part of the same cordless system. I know just how power hungry a cordless circular saw can be, and I wouldn't normally consider anything under 18 volts. Now, this one claims a maximum depth of cut of an inch, and that's useful for cutting chipboard and plywood and MDF. However, curiosity lingered not least because about three or four years ago I purchased a 14.4 volt drill by McAllister and apart from one battery dying it has served me extremely well on an almost daily basis. What makes this drill different apart from being two speed and even more compact is the power surge charger that claims a 25% charge after just three minutes. What? and a full charge after half an hour. By gum, I remember the days when my cordless drill took 16 hours to charge. You never had it so good, lad. OK, time for a decision. I loaded my B&Q trolley with the drill kit, a spare battery, and an inexpensive LED torch, and then wheeled around the block pensively to return to pick up the circular saw and a spare blade. I remember once having a girlfriend who was an all-or-nothing kind of girl. She was also quite petite and perfectly rounded. Well, it just shows how technology has come a long way. Back at my workshop, I tried out the circular saw first. I was really impressed at how light it was to handle. And then I realised that the tiny blade actually makes the tool more power efficient, despite a rather coarse cut it managed to cut through almost two lengths of 8 before 18 mm plywood, a cut of about 15 foot. Now that's impressive and also very handy for converting a large sheet to freight in your car. I used to test tools for a woodworking magazine I helped establish in the early 90s. And I would spend all day in a room on my own, sawing or drilling endlessly to test a range of cordless power tools those were the days of NICAD batteries, of course. Now, I'm still waiting for that cordless router to appear, as the cable is particularly restricting. You know, when a new football boot is launched, they get the David Beckhams of this world to test it out. Now, why don't the router manufacturers consult one of the woodworking superstars? It was 25 years ago I came up with a 21st century router concept. However, Back to the plot, I have to say this little system by McAllister seems really impressive. The drill is nice to handle, it rumbles a bit. The hammer action uh, for masonry struggles a bit, but it does the job. The battery is a little tricky to insert. Uh, the LED light is standard now. But the build quality seems really good, and I do like the really comprehensive manuals for both tools. Well, you won't make money using this uh, power tool system uh, as McAllister stressed that it's not for professional use but you can have a lot of fun at home using it. My name's Jeremy Brune. Thanks for watching.